Seems like undefeated Worcester boxer Kyrie Gray fights every month, and it also seems like he knocks his opponent out in the first round every single time he fights. Kyrie Gray is putting his UBF Northeast Championship on the line December the 18th at the Twin River Casino. It is the eighth fight of the year for Kyrie. Great collection of boxers tonight at Rockies in Worcester to promote Gray's fight December 18th. Gray is 10-0 with eight knockouts, and he's psyched about defending his title. I'm 10-0. I'm about to go 11-0 right now. Uh, putting my butt on the line is just another stepping stone, so it's going to be a great night as far as the fireworks. And Kyrie Gray and Kendrick Ball, his trainer, just found out tonight who they will be fighting. They will be fighting Skender Halili. He is 8-1 and one with eight knockouts. Again, the fight December 18th at Twin River Casino. Clark against Coast Guard. Coast Guard's Megan Fernaro, former Shepherd Hill standout, in attendance on the court. First quarter, Coast Guard up, and they throw it around the horn, and Fernaro underneath going up strong for two. 4 nothing Coast Guard. Coast Guard's Jayla Joyner up the court. The running hook shot. Bears up by 16. Second quarter, Tori Sutherland. Knocking the ball out to Michaela Martinelli. The long jumper is good. Bears by 18. Clark with some good passing. Worcester native Aretha Sullivan from beyond the arc, spotting up and knocking it down. The triple cutting the lead down to 15. Coast Guard's Jill Bray connecting with Tori Sutherland. And the Bears up by 20. They are hitting on all cylinders. Another Worcester native, Clark Sam O'Gara. Taking it up strong to the hoop. More from Clark. More from O'Gara. The drive just off the mark. Ogechi Azima is there for the rebound and put back. Clark's Rachel Chen knocks it out to O'Gara. O'Gara knocking down the jumper. Coast Guard getting the win though tonight. 67 to 51 is your final. Well, the UNH men's basketball team, coached by Oxford native Bill Herrian, off to a good start. They've got three victories, and one of them coming against Holy Cross. Now, last year they tied a program record with 19 wins on the season, and this year Herrian expecting another big year from his Wildcats. I think we have the program in pretty good shape right now. It's, you know, it's my 11th year here at UNH. Probably took a little bit longer to turn things around. Uh, we won 19 games last year, which was really unexpected coming off a six-win season. We tied the school record for most wins in a season. We went to our first ever postseason conference tournament, the CIT, and we did it with a relatively young team. A lot of freshmen, a lot of sophomores that are now sophomores and juniors. So I think we're headed in the right direction. We've got a good group of guys, and we have the program in a pretty good spot right now. Well, I think number one is we got to stay healthy. Uh, we're a little bit thin with bodies in the front court. We've battled a couple of early suspensions here at the beginning of the year. Uh, once we get our, our whole team together, I think we have a chance you know, to be good. But, but like I've told our team, you win 19 games last year, naturally everybody wants more. So the bar has been raised, the expectations are higher, but I think we have a group of kids that are ready to meet those expectations. UNH played UConn early in the season. It's a great chance to measure themselves against one of the best teams in the nation. It's, it's, I think it's a great confidence booster, I hope. You know, we did play pretty well. Uh, it's a great opportunity for the kids to always play upper-level teams, especially playing a ranked team nationally. But what I tell my kids is that our goals and our dreams in this program are to get to the NCAA tournament. And if we're fortunate someday to get to the NCAA tournament, you're going to play a team like a UConn in the first round of the tournament. So I think it's good preparation to at least go out and play teams of that caliber. All right, so UNH flying high, and Billy Herrian has got the Wildcats looking good. Again, a lot of young kids, too, on that UNH team. All right, coming up on Saturday, it is another Super Saturday. It is the state championships. On Saturday, they'll be played at Gillette Stadium. We will have highlights of the Central Mass teams in the state Super Bowl championships. And it is 10.30 p.m. right here on Charter TV. Read. There you go. Megan Fernaro had 25 points to lead uh, Coast Guard in that game. 
Northbridge getting the sportsmanship award too from the Central Mass officials. Good stuff. You look at that boxing press conference too. Cool to see Edwin Rodriguez there showing Kyrie yeah. support. You go to an Edwin fight, you see Jose Rivera there giving him support. Nice culture here in Worcester. Yeah, it is really good. And there's a couple guys from the Boys and Girls Club too. Uh, Jermaine Ortiz, Irvin Gonzalez getting ready for the Olympic trials. They will leave on Saturday for Reno, Nevada. And this is winner take off. They win. They're on the Olympic team and they'll fight in Rio de Janeiro representing the United States. So the boxing culture here and the and the talent is just huge yeah there's some talent in the city no question about yes. it all right thanks kev appreciate it all right for kevin shea i'm tim mccone thanks for watching we'll see you back here tomorrow night at 10.